name is Martin and I uh, thought I'd document and show you my summer project. I will be taking my old steel frame bike apart, um, fix it up, paint it and hopefully it will, be, it will look nicer when I'm done than it does right now. It's not a bad bike, it's a Peugeot 4000 competition. Um, it's from 1997. Uh, these are not the original gears. I changed them a couple of years ago to a Veloce 10 speed. It originally came with a uh, Miche 9 speed cassette and wheels and a uh, 9 speed Campagnolo Mirage, I believe it was. I still have them, but I don't use them. So uh, I just have your basic bike stand. And uh, the seat post will be a challenge because it is stuck like a Trump politician. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I have also put a old bed sheet underneath because I have lost many a screws down these deckings here. So I will be starting to uh, taking it apart. I'll take the wheels off. I'll start with the brakes. I'll show you everything and. Uh, I'll keep you posted. So, here goes. Summer Project 2018. Making this bike look beautiful. So I'm about to take the back wheel off. And uh, a little tip. Of course, this bike will be taken completely apart. But if you take your back wheel off, make sure that you have the chain in the highest gear or the smallest sprocket. It'll make it easier to take the wheel off and it'll also make it easier to put on. So, well, assuming that you know how to shift gears, you just shift down to the highest gear. And you can see it moving and then just pedal carefully and it goes down. And this, if you don't know the Campagnolo shifters, they have, instead of the Shimano, which has the brake lever and the gear lever, this has the brake lever. I'll just stop the wheel here. This has the brake lever, the shift shifter for lower gears, and then they have the button for higher gear or smaller sprocket. And the other way around, it has the brake lever for the front, it has the uh, shift lever for a higher gear or a bigger sprocket and the button for a smaller sprocket. That's the difference between Shimano and Campagnolo. They have different levers or buttons for every function. Shimano has the, the double one and SRAM I believe have, if you push just a bit it goes down and if you push further but I don't know I've never tried a SRAM so now the chain is in the smallest sprocket and I'll be taking the wheel off I've taken the front wheel off it's over there these are a Mavic CXP 33 bottom used very very good wheels rigid rolls really nice these wheels are sorry tires are very old and will be changed so I'll get back to you wheels are off and these are also the Campagnolo brake uh, really nice brake they don't make the Veloce anymore they I think the chorus is the the kid brother of the series here but it comes with a bolt down here I don't know if you can see that I'll check that out later and I'll just release this bolt here and the brakes come off and then I'll start with the wires and everything cable sorry and I'll show you how to get into the hoods to release the wire from underneath the hoods so I'll just unscrew this bolt take it off and then I'll show you how to do with the uh, brake hood lever. 
So this is what was sitting on the back side here that I used the Allen key on and it goes into the fork and then there's a corresponding screw on the other side that goes through the fork and they connect inside the fork like this. Now make sure that you keep everything and label it so you don't have like a big ball of strange screws lying around uh, so keep everything together I'll keep the uh, all the brake parts together front rear and then so label everything I have lost many screws before so don't don't cheat on that don't think that you'll do it later just do it when you do it because you will lose screws I have lots of loose screws haha <laughs> okay I'm out here in the Sun and my phone is telling me that it's getting too hot so we'll see and this is Sweden can you believe it can you believe it Sweden who knew uh, I have the Allen wrench here Allen key sorry and I'll just spit stuck here but it comes loose quite easily and I am going to have to put the phone down to be able to hold on to the brake to get this loose. So the brake is off and the cable goes up here and in under the hoods. And this is kind of fiddly because you have this the rubber boot here on the on the hood and especially on the Campagnolo with the the shift button instead of the dual lever you have to get it over the button and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand probably not uh, and you have to get the hood out of the way before you can reach the cables and I will also have to take off the uh, the wrap of the steering wheel so I'll just peel back the hood I'll show you what it looks like inside I'll show you where to release the cable wire I don't know and then I'll take the wrapping off and take the whole thing off yep it looks like I will have to take off the bar tape not wrapping it's not a Christmas present um, first and then I think I will have to actually take the brake lever off before I can release the cables. Uh, it's a couple years ago that I did this, so I don't really remember, but I'll take the wrapping off. No, not the wrapping, the tape. And then I'll take the brake lever off, and then I'll see if I can release the brake cable here. I'll get back to you. Um, in order to take off the bar tape, you simply just take this plug out, and then you find the end of it, and then it's just to actually unwrap it. It's way easier to take off than it is to put on, but I think you already know that. You find the end. It's a bit stuck here. This is a, a very rubbery bar tape. One of the most rubbery ones I've ever seen. And then you simply just unwrap it. These handlebars will be changed because I think once in its life it's been uh, in a crash. So they are a bit wonky. So I will change these handlebars. Now my phone is telling me it's too hot again. Can you believe it? Sweden, who knew? Okay, so the, the hood is off. Um, as I said, it is quite fiddly and I actually tore it a bit so either I will have to try and find replacements or hopefully this will this will work I don't know if you can see it it's very sunny here but as you can see I tore it and uh, well <laughs> these are just the things that happen when you take things apart um, now I need to release this allen bolt 
it is unfortunately in very poor shape so I'm gonna have to be very careful so I don't round it off completely um, and maybe I will have to try and use some hacks and tips and tricks to get it off but this is the next thing that has to come off you see the the brake cable goes around here the housing and down to our brakes hanging here and all of this is very internal here I can't really see where it goes right now so I think I have to take it off in order to release this wire here yeah and so this this is the main task right now I'll see if I can get this out I've heard it trick that says if you use a piece of rubber band and put it in here and then you put the allen key in it'll help hopefully I don't want to round it off completely and mess it up uh, otherwise I will have to find another way to do this let's see how it goes so that allen bolt is aluminium so it's very soft and it's firmly stuck in there so I now have resorted to some penetrating oil and I am letting it hopefully run into I put the bike in a sort of angle here and some penetrating oil hopefully it'll run into the threads and uh, then I will use a hack that I found on GCN where you use a slightly larger Torx key instead of an Allen key because it has this little star shape instead uh, and uh, actually just whack it in there and then see if I can uh, get it off I tried with a rubber band didn't work uh, it's too stuck it's like the Trump administration it won't budge and um, sorry about all the Trump bashing here it's just that here in Sweden we simply just can't understand what the man is saying but that's I digress this has nothing to do with bikes um, so I will let the penetrating oil go in and then I'll try that hack and I let you know how it goes and unfortunately I do know that the other side is just as stuck or as rounded and the amazing thing is that I actually got it installed by a uh, bike shop a pro bike shop in another town here they are out of business now who knew <laughs> and I have instant success I actually took the Torx you know the uh, that star shaped one and this is a Torx 25 that was a four millimeter Allen key and I took a Torx 25 and I just put it in there and together with the penetrating hole it just came loose I didn't have to whack it in there to destroy the the bolt and uh, I can just take it out so I'll just remove these hoods it's kind of hard to do with the with the phone in one hand and trying to do it one-handed and when I get the the brake lever off I will show you what it looks like inside okay as I said it's a couple of years ago that I had anything to do with this bike mechanically wise I've just been running it as an everyday bike on summer days uh, so the brake cable comes through here actually goes if you push the brake lever it goes here and that's the this here let's see in there is the stop for the cable so what I have to do is I have to undo it from this side instead I'll just undo this allen bolt and pull the cable through and when you take this apart don't mix the brake cable housing with the gear cable housing I did that once and the brakes got stuck because these housings are slightly smaller in diameter than this one the brake housing and 
the brakes didn't return to the neutral position after I've been braking, so they were rubbing against the rim. And I took it to my local bike shop, and they just laughed at me and said, well, that's because you have the shifter cable housing on your brake cables, and that's a bad idea. Your brakes will not work properly. They will feel spongy, and they will not return to the neutral position after you've been braking. So don't mix these. That's what I said. Label everything when you take it apart. So I'll undo this from that side and then I'll show you how to release it from the, the brake. So of course this is not rocket surgery. Um, this little cable end here, the grommet or whatever it's called, of course has to come off otherwise the cable won't go through and this is the allen key that holds the brake wire sorry just point to the right one that one that's the one that holds the cable in place uh, be careful that you don't lose it because this is the part where now things are start starting to come apart so put everything in groups together everything that has to do with the front brake put it together with the other parts that actually has to do with the front brake so you don't lose your nuts in most cases you can just pull that little grommet thingy off uh, i will try that first but if you do have to cut the wire try and pick one of these up it's a wire cable cutter it'll make a much cleaner cut it'll take all the strands of the wire in one clean cut so it doesn't thread or well you know how bad wire can look so pick I picked this up it's a Swedish shop it's called Beltam it doesn't matter uh, it was cheap five six dollars something like that so use a wire cutter to cut cut wires otherwise they will thread it'll be impossible to put a new cable end on it and you will just be frustrated nobody wants to be that uh, there we go cable end is off and now I hopefully I will be able to pull it through so I'll just start feeding the cable here it comes it's kind of hard to do with one hand but I think it'll come out quite easily just give me a sec here yep I just gave the cable a push in the other end and it came out so I'll just grab this and Viola, as I say in Spanish, it's out. This cable is actually in quite good nick, so I'll try and keep it for the assembly again. So, but one tip I will give you is that if you have cable ends, do try and tape it up or put the cable end back so it doesn't thread when you uh, store it. These are all the components for, oh sorry that's my finger, all the components for the front brake assembly. You have the brake in itself with a bolt that goes through the fork, the bolt that holds the cable, you have the cable itself here, I put the little cable end on it so it doesn't thread, and you have the cable housing. I'm pretty sure I will re replace these with something. I'm thinking about a color scheme here for the, the rebuild, but I'm not sure yet. So I'll just keep this, or otherwise I can keep it for another bike. Uh, my brother has a bike that breaks down all the time. No, it doesn't break down all the time, but he doesn't know anything about bikes. So when I have to fix something on a, his bike, it's good to have spare parts. Uh, as for the shifter cable, it's quite different. It comes out, let's see, where was it now? 